Hi, this is Judy. I live in a remote area of the Sonoran Desert in Arizona, and I'm very fortunate and blessed to have multiple sightings of these gorgeous lizards each year. Several burrow on my property. The first sighting this year was on Sunday, April 29th, and that Gila monster is the star of my Gila monster in the wild video. The second sighting was 11 days later on May 10th. I saw one crossing the old resource road on the BLM land next to my property just north of the vehicle wash. Unfortunately, my camera battery was dead, so I wasn't able to get that one on film. And here it is going under our fence towards the road. Now, the third sighting was just a week later, May 17th, Thursday morning. And that Gila monster is the subject of my Gila monster versus hawks video. I named that lizard Glow because he or she was to make another appearance exactly 25 days later. My fourth sighting was this particular lizard on my property about an hour later after Glow, and about 450 feet southeast of where Glow was on the BLM land at that time. So I don't know if this is a rival male or if it was a courting pair or what was going on here. The BLM stands for Bureau of Land Management. It's one of the federal agencies that manages public lands, most of them remote and rural. The Gila monster is venomous. They prey on newborn rodents, rabbits, ground nesting birds, and their eggs and other lizards. They go into hibernation around November and emerge in February. They lay their eggs in the fall. They don't hatch until the following year. No other egg-laying lizard in North America does this. They spend about 98% of their time underground and usually occupy more than one burrow. Now here I'm showing how close to the road it is. They're found mostly in Arizona and northern Mexico and other parts of the southwest. Preferred habitat is mountain foothills dominated by swarrows and palo verde trees and near washes. And I tracked this particular lizard for about three hours, just following it staying a good distance behind it because I was curious to see where it was going if it was looking for that other lizard or where it was so it's about to cross the road and I catch it doing this two times and that is significant because we're trying to get the BLM to shut down this road it's no longer used by the ranchers and only serves as an access point for off-road vehicles the Gila monster is a threatened species and it's against the law to handle or harm them in Arizona. So here it is, it goes and it checks out this hole four minutes, not interested, and keeps on going. Crawls under this creosote bush. That's what it would do. It would walk a little ways, then get under a nice, cool, shady creosote bush and rest, and then continue on its journey. And here it's about to cross the road. So what's wrong with off-road vehicles? Well, off-road vehicles scar the land and harass wildlife. They create noise pollution. They abuse and violate the rights of other public land users and private landowners. So there's the road. On the other side of that barbed wire fence is the BLM land. Also, off-road vehicles are equipped with two-stroke engines, which are very inefficient and polluting, dumping up to 30% of their unburned fuel onto the land, air, and water. Off-road vehicle use also causes soil displacement, compaction, erosion, stream sedimentation, increased wildlife mortality, habitat disturbance, and ugly disfiguring scars that take a long time to heal, if at all. Now look down there at that ridge. That's where Glow was. So I don't know if this one's trying to find them or what. Well, many desert dwellers go their whole life without seeing one of these lizards in the wild, but I see at least three to five each year. Scientists say that such frequent sightings are rare, which leads me to believe that a healthier-than-normal population flourishes here. Loss of habitat is the chief threat to these lizards, and that's what's happening out here, steady encroachment on this pristine desert by housing developments, suburban sprawl from Phoenix specifically. So this is all more reason to shut down the road in order to protect them. Now, I've seen them crossing the road before, along with the desert tortoise, which is a threatened species.
all in all, these are pretty laid back lizards. Unless you really try to bother them. They don't want to bite you. They're a lot of fun to watch. Okay, here it is crossing the BLM Road for the second time onto the northeast section of the Haley Hills BLM land. Continues northward, northward there. Rest under the creosote bushes. It's heading north towards the vehicle wash where it eventually goes into this very dense bush. I stake out the bush for a couple of hours, but it never comes out, so I don't know if it's got a burrow in there or what. But if you'd like to help out, please feel free to contact the BLM office, the Phoenix BLM office, and voice your concerns. You can find their contact information at judykennedy.com. Here it is, going towards the Vico Wash. And there's that bush. And that's the Vico Wash right behind it. Thanks so much for watching.